theme of this camp is it's about giving, I can say it in Serbian, but from what I've understood in, in, in English, it's about giving your dreams wings. Each of you will face challenges before you see your dreams fulfilled. And the greatest thing you could ever do with your life is give your life to God. And the greatest dream you could ever have in your life is to be used mightily of God. And to be His anointed vessel. But when you try and want to be used of God, Ali kada pokušavate i želite da budete upotrebljeni od Boga, there's going to be challenges that come your way. Uh, imat ćete izazove koji će dolaziti na vaš put. If this is your goal, you're going to face much opposition. Ako je to vaš cilj, susrećete se sa mnogo opozicije. Satan will try to do everything he can to stop you from being used by God. Djavo će uraditi sve što može uh, da, ne, uh, da ne bi bili upotrebljeni od Boga. He'll try and do the best to ruin you before you even start. He'll try to send bitterness into your life. He'll try and make you get offended. He'll do everything he can. And today we're going to go into the story of Samson in the Bible. So if you have your Bibles, we'll turn to Judges chapter 13. And um, it's Judges chapter 13, and we'll read from verses 1 to 5. Izraelci opet počeše da čine ono što je zlo pred gospodom, pa i gospod predade filistejicima u ruke na 40 godina. A jedan čovek iz core po imenu Manoah iz jednog bratstva Danovaca imao je ženu koja nije mogla da ima dece. Njoj se pokazao anđel gospodnji i reče, nisi mogla da imaš dece, dece ali sada će zatrudnuti i roditi sina. Samo od sad pazi da ne piješ, ni, ne piješ ni vino, ni druga opojna pića i da ne jedeš ništa nečisto. Jer, ovo zatru, ovo, jer evo, zatruden ćeš i roditi sina, nek mu britva ne dotakne glavu, jer će dečak biti na, nazirej odvojen za Boga još od majčine utrobe. On će početi da spasava Izraela iz ruke Filistejaca. So we, hear, we see here from the beginning of Samson's life. Tako da vidimo da od početka Samsonovog života he was anointed before he was even born. Bio je pomazan pre nego što je bio rođen. God had a purpose for his life. Bog je imao svrhu za njegov život. His parents were given strict instructions on how he should live. Njegovi roditelji su dobili stroge upute kako da žive. And how to raise him up. I kako da ga podignu kao dete. Israel was living in sin. Izraelci su živjeli u grehu. And God sent Samson to deliver them. I Bog je poslao Samsona da ih izbavi. They were captives to the Philistines. Bili su robovi uh, Filistejcima. And God sent Samson to deliver them. I Bog je poslao Samsona kao izbavljenje iz toga. And he was to play an important role in the history of Israel. <coughs> I Samson je trebao da ima važnu ulogu u istoriji Izraela. But Samson made a few mistakes in his life. Ali Samson napravio nekoliko grešaka u svom životu. And we're going to go through three of these mistakes. I proći ćemo kroz tri od, uh, od nje, tri njegove greške. And if I could ask uh, three volunteers to come up with, that have their Bibles that can read. I zamolio bi uh, tri dobrovoljca koji imaju svoju Bibliju da, da pročitaju ta, te tri greške. Someone from the first two rows, someone from the middle, and someone from the back two rows. Neko iz prva dva reda, neko iz sredine, neko sa kraja. Any hands? Tanya? Anyone else? Two Tanya. other people. Još dvoje. Don't be shy. Nemojte se stidjet. Nije hambi se sam. Nikto. Ok, ajde, Sara. Uh, can you just come stand up here? One more. 
Iron Man. Offense. Miroslav Hrončík. Čo je problém tu? Nikto nemá Bibliu, ha? So, I'm going to ask each of them to read a section in um, one of the chapters of Samson's life. I za mali ću svakog jednog od njih da pročitaju odvedak iz Samsonovog života. And in each each problem that every chapter he faced a different problem. I u svakom poglavlju on se susreće sa različitim problemima. So the first um, section that we're going to read is in Judges 14. Uh, prvi deo je u Sudijama 14. <laughs> glavi. And we'll read from verses 1 to 3. Od prvog do trećeg stiha. A Samson si išiel dolu do Timnaty a videl tam nejakú ženu a dcer Filišinov. A navráčiať sa hore domov oznámil svojmu otcovi a svojej matke a povedal Videl som ženu v Timnate dcer Filišinov a tak teraz mi ju vezmite za ženu. A tomu povedali jeho otec a matka, či nie je medzi dcerami tvojim, tvojich bratov ani celom tvojom ľudia ženy, že si išiel vziať ženu z Filišinov z tých neobrezancov. A sam som povedal svojom osobi, tu mi vezmi, lebo tá sa mi ljubi. So the first problem that Samson faced, tako da prvi problem sa kojim se Samson suočio, or his first mistake, if we should say it that way, ili njegova prva greška, ako možemo tako da kažemo, is that he pursued the desire of his flesh. Je što je žudio za željama svog tela. He saw what was in the world. Video je nešto u svetu. And he wanted it for himself. Je želeo je to za sebe. He was anointed by God to be a judge of Israel. Bio je pomazan od Boga da bude sudija u Izraelu. He was, an, he was appointed to follow after God's voice. Bio je pomazan da sledi Boži glas. But he spent his time pursuing the things in this world. Ali on je proveo svoje vreme tražeći stvari u ovom svetu. And this is the first mistake that he made. I ovo je prva greška koju je načinio. But eventually it would lead to his downfall. Ali ona će biti ta koja će početi taj njegov pad. And now move to his second mistake in Judges 15. Ovo je njegova druga greška je u Sudijama 15. glavi od 9. do 16. stiha. From verses 9 to 16. Tedy vyšli filištini hore a položili sa táborom v Judovi a rozprestreli sa v Lehi. A mužovia Judovi im povedali, prečo ste vyšli hore proti nám? A povedali, poviazať Samsona sme vyšli, aby sme mu urobili tak, ako on nám urobil. Tedy si išlo dolu tri tisíce mužov z Judu a prišli k rozpukline skali Etan a povedali Samsonovi, či ti nevieš, že nad nami panujú filištini a čo si nám to tedy vykonal? A on im riekol, ako on im nevykonali, tak som i ja im vykonal. A riekli mu, si išli sme ťa poviazať, aby sme ťa vydali do ruky filištínov. Na to im povedal Samson, prisahajte mi, že sama, sami nedotknete. A oni mu odpovedali a riekli, nie, len ťa dobre poviažeme a vydáme ťa do ruky, ale zabiť nezabijeme ťa. A tak ho poviazali dvoma novými povrazmi a odviedli ho zo skali hore k filištínom. A keď prišli až do Lechy a filištíni kričali od radosti oproti nemu, prišiel na neho duch hospodinov a povrazy, ktoré boli na jeho ramenách, stali sa ako ľanové niti, ktoré zhoria na ohni, a jeho putá sa rozpadli ako sprachnivele a spadli z jeho rúk. A našiel oslju čelusť ešte čerstvu a vy, vystrú svoju ruku, pochytil ju a pobyl ňou tisíc mužov. Vtedy povedal Samson, Čelisťou osla hromadu, dve hromady, čelisťou osla som pobil tisíc mužov. So Samson's second mistake is that he worked alone. Uh, druga Samsonova greška je što je radio sam. We read the story and we can read it as, as a story of victory. Čitamo ovu priču i možemo da je vidimo kao priču pobede. But in his, in his victory he worked by himself. Ali u njegovim pobedama on je radio sve sam. And when we read through his story, when we read through other judges in that book, I čitamo, uh, sudijama, o njemu i o drugim sudijama, they led all of Israel together. I ostale sudije su vodile Izrael zajedno. If we read the story of Gideon, 
Čitamo o Gideonu. O Debra. O Debori. They led other people and they led Israel together. Oni su vodili narod i držali su ih zajedno. And they worked together with other people. I radili su zajedno sa drugim ljudima. But Samson was a lone ranger. Ali Samson je radio sam. He worked by himself. Uvek sam. He thought he was strong enough. Mislio da je dovoljno jak. And he thought he didn't need anyone else. I da mu niko nije potreban. It doesn't matter how strong you are here today. I nema veze koliko si ti jak danas. If you want to be effective in God's kingdom, ako želiš da budeš efektivan u Božem kraljevstvu, you need other people working with you. Trebaju ti drugi ljudi koji će raditi sa tobom. You need to work together. Trebaju, treba da trebate da radite zajedno. If you look at the life of Samson, ako gledate Samsonov život, there was never a time where the where Israel had a clear victory over the Philistines. Izrael nikad nije imao čistu pobjedu nad Filistejcima ili kompletnu. Philistines were only afraid of Samson. Filistejci su se bojali samo Samsona. They heard the stories of Samson. Čuli su priče o Samsonu. They heard of how he carried the gates on his shoulders. Čuli su kako je nosio kapiju na svojim leđima. They heard of the stories of how he defeated a thousand Philistines with a jawbone. Čuli su kako je sa magarećom čeljusti pobedio na hiljade Filistejaca. But that was all that they were afraid of. They were only afraid of Samson. Ali to je sve čega su sami bojali, Samsona. And yes, Samson killed many Philistines. Samson je pobio mnogo Filistejaca. But he only ever acted out of revenge. Ali uvek samo iz osvete. He only ever acted out of anger. On je radio samo na bazi osvete i mržnje. He never actually tried to free his people from bondage. Nikad u stvari nije ni pokušao da izbavi Izrael iz ropstva. He was a strong man. Bio je jak. But he had small dreams. Ali imao je male snove. He did not see that he could use his strength to free his people. Nije vidio da on može da iskoristi svoju snagu da oslobodi ceo narod. He didn't see that he could use his strength to empower his people. Nije vidio da on svoju snagu može da osnaži narod. And that's why at the end of his life, i zato na kraju njegovog života, Israel was in the same place as at the beginning. Izrael je bio na istom mestu i pre nego što se kao što kao pre nego što se sam sam rodio. And the third mistake that Samson made is that he took his anointing for granted. If you read in Judges chapter 16 verses 15, Na tomu povedala, jako možeš povedać, milujem ťa, keď nije so mnou tvoje srce. Toto už trikrat si ima oklamal, a nepovedal si mi, v čom leži tvoja veľká sila. A stalo sa, keď ho len, ako deň služovala svojimi slovami a nalijala na neho, že to už nemohla znieť jeho duša, znavená až na smrť. Tedy jej vyjavil celé svoje srdce a povedal jej, Britva nikdy nevyšla na moju hlavu, lebo som nazarej Boží od života svojej matky. Keby ma ohodili, Odišla bi odom na moja sila a nemal bi som vladi, ale bi som bol ako každý iný človek. A Derila vidiac, že je vyvalil celé svoje srdce, poslala a zavolala kniežata Filišninov a odkázala. Poďte už teraz hore, lebo mi vyjavil celé svoje srdce. A tak prišli k nej hore kniežata Filišninov a doniesli strebro vo svoje ruke. A keď ho uspala na svojich kolenách, zavolala človeka a zhorila sedem vrkočov jeho hlavy. A začala ho pokorovať a tak odišla jeho sila od neho. A povedala, Filištiny na teba, Samsone. A keď sa prebudil zo svojho spánku, povedal si, vidiam von a ako po každé a otrasím sa. Ale on nevedel, že hospodím odišiel od neho. Tedy ho pochytili Filištiny a vyklali mu oči a odviedli ho dolu, do gázy. Poviazali ho dvoma medenými reťazami a mriel v dome väzňom. So in this chapter we find the story of Samson and Delilah. And we find that this is the last time that Delilah asked him the question. And 
But she had already asked him many times before. Ali ona ga je to pitala već mnogo puta pre. Where does your strength come from? Odakle tvoja snaga dolazi? Because she wanted to take that strength away from him. Jer je želela da mu oduzme tu snagu. She wanted to take that anointing away from him. Želela je da oduzme to pomazanje njemu. And he didn't see, or maybe he did see actually. He would have seen that everything that he told her before that she was testing him. I on možda je video, možda nije, ali ovaj, ona svaki put šta god je on rekao, ona je to testirala. Da li je to istina? Every time he told her, or he, every time even he lied to her of what, where his strength came from, svaki put, bez obzira da li je lagao ili ne, he would wake up and she would have done exactly that what he had told her. Ona, dok bi on spavao, uradila on, upravo ono što je on rekao i probudila ga. So put yourself in his shoes for a second. Tako da stavite sebe u njegov položaj na par sekundi. Wouldn't there be some time somewhere where you would realize what she is doing? Zar ne bi shvatili negde usput šta ona radi? But he looks like he doesn't care. Ali to je kao da njemu nije stalo mnogo do toga. It doesn't say anywhere in the Bible that he didn't care. Nigde u Bibliji ne piše tačno Samsonu nije stalo do njegovog pomazanja. Da mu nije stalo do njegovog pomazanja. Ali tako se ponašao. Nije čuvao svoje pomazanje. Samson je verao da može da ide protiv reči Božje. I da dalje može da bude ok. To je da je da je da je da je da je da je zato je, dok je došao do trećeg testa, on je već mislio da se ništa neće desiti ili promeniti ako se njegova kosa odseče. Nikad to nije rekao, ali njegova dela su to dokazala. Negde tokom svog života prestao da ceni Boži glas. Božju reč. And his call that God had placed on his life. I njegov poziv koji je Bog stavio na njegov život. He saw that Delilah was testing him at every step. Video je da ga Dalila testira na svakom svakom delu njihovog puta. But he still gave in at the end. Ali i dalje je dao taj na kraju. He traded something that was eternal. Za meni je nešto što je večno. For something that was temporary. Za nešto što je bilo privremeno. And today, today my question to you is. I danas moje pitanje vama je šta ćete vi uraditi sa svojim pomazanjem? Jer ako imate Svetog Duha u sebi danas, vi jeste pomazani. Vi ste odvojeni. Bog vas je poznao u njegovo kraljevstvo i dao vam misiju. I danas želim da vas upitam šta vi radite sa svojim pomazanjem. Have you been distracted by the things in this world? Da li vam pažnja ide na stvari oko vas, ovog sveta? Have you been distracted by entertainment or fashion? Da li vaša pažnja otišla na zabavu ili modu ili bilo šta? 1 John 2, verse 16 says U 1. Jovanovoj 2. glavi 16. stih kaže All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Jer sve što je u svetu, požuda tela, požuda očiju i razmetanje, jer sve što je u svetu, požuda tela, požuda očiju i razmetanje, onim što se ima, ne dolazi od oca, nego od sveta. Svet i njegove požude prolaze, a ko izvršava Božju volju, ostaje do veka. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted by the things in this world. Ne možemo sebi dozvoliti da da nam pažnja ode na stvari oko nas. We cannot allow ourselves to follow after our lusts and and our passions. Ne možemo ići za svojim strastima i požudama. Because eventually it will lead to destruction. Ne na kraju to će nas odvesti u propast. Satan wants to lead us away from our call of God. Djavo želi da nas odvede dalje od našeg poziva. And that's why it's important to know that ministry is not a substitute for relationship. I zato trebamo da znamo i moramo da znamo da služba nije zamena za odnos. I used to think that if I was involved in ministry, 
Mislio sam da ako uh, budem uključen u neku službu u crkvi, then my relationship with God was okay. Da je onda moj odnos sa Bogom super. Maybe you've gone through similar things in your life. Možda si ti prošao kroz slične stvari. Maybe you do something at your church. Možda radiš nešto u svojoj crkvi. Maybe you sing, maybe you play. Možda sviraš, pevaš. Maybe you even preach. Možda čak i propovedaš. But it doesn't matter what you do for God. Ali nema veze šta radiš za Boga. It cannot replace that relationship that you have with God. To ne može da zameni tvoj odnos sa Bogom. That is your most important thing. To je tvoja najvažnija stvar. More important than what you do. Važnije od onog što radiš. Is who you know. Je da onaj onaj koga poznaješ. Amen. The next thing is that anointing requires righteousness. I pomazanje zahtjeva pravednost. Your anointing is not a reflection on your relationship with God. Tvoje pomazanje nije is or isn't. Tvoje pomazanje nije odraz tvog odnosa sa Bogom. It is possible to be living in sin. Moguće je živjeti u grehu and still be used in the gifts of the Spirit. A i dalje biti upotrebljen u darovima duha. If you don't believe me, you can just read 1 Corinthians. Ako mi ne verujete, čitajte 1 Korinčanima. That church is one of the most spiritual churches in in um, in the New Testament. Ta crkva je jedna od najduhovnijih crkava u Novom Zavetu. They had spiritual gifts going everywhere. Duhovni darovi su prosto bili posvuda. They were just speaking in tongues everywhere non-stop. Non-stop su govorili, govorili u jezicima bez prestanka. But Paul revealed so many sin that was so much sin that was happening in that church. Ali Paul je otkrio i pisao o toliko tolikim grehovima u njihovim njihovim crkvama. There's a story um, of a missionary that went to Thailand. And he had such great faith that he saw thousands of people receive the Holy Ghost. And I heard him sharing his testimony once. And he got to a point in his ministry where God told him that he wouldn't even have to pray to see people get the Holy Ghost anymore. Gdje mu je Bog rekao, ne moraš više ni da moliš da ljudi primaju Svetog Duha. But God told him, you have to pray for your own soul. Ali moraš da moliš za svoju dušu. And that, to me when I heard that, I kad sam čuo to, that shook me. To me jako potreslo. Because it proved to me that people can be used mildly of God. Jer mi je pokazao da ljudi mogu da budu u velikoj meri upotrebljeni Bogom. And still fall completely away. Ali i dalje da kompletno odu od Boga. I mean, even though if I was being used in ministry, čak i ako sam ja potrebljen u službi, to never take that for granted. Nikad ne smem to da uzimam kao nešto što moram da imam ili nešto što je nije vredno. To never think that just because people were being saved, nikad ne smem da mislim da samo zato što su ljudi spašeni, or just because lives were being changed, ili samo zato što su životi promenjeni, that my relationship with God was okay. Da je moj odnos sa Bogom okay. Because even like we read the story of Samson, he was anointed with strength. But on the inside he was weak. He had no relationship with God. And the reason why I'm sharing this all today Danas, is not because I'm perfect in all of these areas. Nije zato što sam ja savršen u ovim oblastima. It is because I have fallen in all of these areas. Već zato što sam ja pao u svim ovim oblastima. There have been times where I have allowed myself to be led by my flesh. Da, bila su vremena kad sam ja dozvolio sebi da budem vođen svojim telom. Instead of the Holy Spirit. Umjesto Svetim Duhom. There have been times where I wanted to do everything on my own. Bila su vremena kad sam ja želeo da radim sve sam. There have been times where I have not valued my anointing. I bila su vremena kad ja nisam cenio svoje pomazanje. And the word that God had given me. I reč koju je Bog dao meni. And these three problems are not unique to men or women. Not unique to men or women. Both men and women can have these problems. Oh, okay. I, uh, ova, ovi principi ili ova stvar ne važi samo za muškarce. It doesn't matter who you are. Nema veze ko si. You can go through these same problems. Možeš da prolaziš kroz ove iste probleme. You can face these same temptations. 
ista iskušenja. But if you are here today and you have fallen, ali ako si tu danas i pao si, I want you to know that is not the end. Želim da ti kažem da nije kraj. God can still turn things around. Bog i dalje može i želi da okrene stvari. When you read at the end of Samson's life, kada čitamo na kraju Samsonovog života, we find that even when he was captive in the Philistine camp, čitamo da i i kada je bio rob u Filistejskom taboru, the Bible says and his hair began to grow. Biblija kaže da je njegova kosa počela opet da raste. And at the end of his life he prayed one more time. I na kraju života molio je još jednom. And he said, God, use this to to defeat the enemy. Use me one more time. Rekao je, Gospode, upotrebi me još jednom. And God gave God gave Samson one more chance. Da pobedim neprijatelja i Gospod je dao Samsonu još jednu šansu. Even after he had failed him. Čak i nakon što je pao u Božim očima. Even after he had tried to do everything his way. Čak i nakon što je pokušao sve da uradi na svoj način. God gave Samson one more chance. Bog je dao Samsonu još jednu šansu. And today God is giving all of us one more chance. I danas Bog daje svima nama još jednu šansu. God has anointed us for his purpose. On nas je pomazao za svoju svrhu. God has given us his Holy Spirit. Dao nam je svog svetog duha. And now the question is, what are you going to do with it? I sada je pitanje šta ćeš ti uraditi sa tim? Samson was anointed, but he was lost. Samson je bio pomazan, ali bio je izgubljen. You don't have to go the same way as Samson did. Ne moraš da ideš istim putem kao Samson. Don't ever take the anointing of God for granted. Ne uzimaj nikad pomazanje Božije uzalu. Don't ever think that just because you're anointed everything will be okay that you can do whatever you want. Ne misli da zato što samo zato što imaš pomazanje možeš da radiš šta god hoćeš. Because Satan is going to try every step of the way. Jer će đavo pokušavati na svakom tvom koraku to stop you da te zaustavi to hurt you da te povredi to destroy you da te uništi because he is afraid of what he can do when you give your life to god jer se on boji toga što ti možeš da uradiš kada se u potpunosti odaš bogu so let's all stand in this place hajde da ustanemo svi zajedno god has called each of us bog je pozvao svakog jednog od nas I believe you're not at this camp by mistake. I verujem da niko od vas nije na ovom kampu greškom. The God has a purpose for your life. Bog ima svrhu za vaš život. But Satan wants to hinder you. He wants to stop you. Ali djavo vas želi zaustaviti. And you can't ever think that just because I'm going to church everything will be okay. I ne možete da mislite da samo zato što idem u crkvu sve će biti u redu. Or just because I went to one camp and God's spirit was mighty. Ili samo zato što sam bio na jednom kampu i Božji duh je bio tako snažan. And I heard God's voice calling me. I čuo sam Božji glas kako me zove. That everything will now be okay. Da je sada sve u redu. Because usually when God calls you to something great. Jer čak i ako te Bog pozove na nešto veliko. You go through many things. Ići ćeš kroz mnoge stvari. You go through many difficult times. Kroz mnoge teške periode. But you have to hold on to God. Ali moraš da držati Boga. Regardless of of what may come your way. Bez obzira šta će doći na tvoj put. Hold on to God. Drži se Boga. Because only you and your relationship with God. Jer samo ti i tvoj odnos sa Bogom. It's going to see you through those times. Če te provesti kroz ta vremena. It's only you and your relationship with God. Samo ti i tvoj odnos sa Bogom. It's going to keep you grounded. Če te držati čvrsto na zemlji. It's going to be that foundation that you can stand on. Biće tvoj temelj na kom možeš da stojiš. So let's all pray right now in this place. Hajde da molimo svi zajedno na ovom mjestu. And ask God to help us. I tražimo od Boga da nam pomogne. To keep our anointing. And protect our anointing. I štitimo naše pomazanje. To protect what God wants to do in our lives. Da štitimo ono što Bog želi da radi u našim životima. Let's all lift our hands in this place and pray. Hajde da podignemo svoje ruke na ovom mestu i slavimo.